Hey yo, Chixo here. Netmarble finally dropped a death note and I think it's really, really good. That is something maybe a lot of people were waiting for because the game has been for a lot of people pretty dry. Um, nothing new or not much new. Like the Ungit Guild was definitely was a very, very nice flow and they are going to continue that. So it's going to be added a new demonic beast battle. Also the faction war. I'm definitely looking forward for the faction war. It looks like something with PvP. Maybe it's also PvE. I do not know. Um, also, they are going to try to improve, like for example, Night of Battle, Training Cave, Final Boss and Tower of Trials. Also QOL, so if anyone doesn't know what QOL means, it's quality of life. So yeah, um, beginning with the first thing, it's going to be the Ragnarok Chapter 2. I guess we are going to get new Ragnarok units. I'm really looking forward maybe if we can get the Mysterious Girl. Um, let me know what you guys are looking for or maybe the i think um at the first time when ragnarok was released or not really released when it was announced there was that mummy milka right with decent nice boobies everyone is looking forward for that one too if if she's getting released but yeah so you may be wondering um so it's not a holex they are going to bring a complete new pve content so um, it's from the world of Ragnarok and uh, I guess we have to figure out how to beat it. We get drops. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is for some material for level 100. Who knows? Well, so uh, da, 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 from as, uh, each stage consists three or more faces. Each of the wood. You must form a team in hero suited. Yeah, I mean, yeah, nah, I guess. Yeah, just just killing. So um, it's a ultra challenging content interesting so we will definitely try that out when when it drops uh, duh. but yeah um we'll see how how it's going to be so yeah it's basically this disguise so we can see already how how the bird looks like uh, the demonic beast um holy relics new crafting system interesting so a crafting system will be added to the game along with the demonic beast battle update which introduces a new type of equipable, uh, equipable item holy relics so maybe it's something similar to artifacts from other games like artifacts for us it's a little bit different because in a lot of other games artifacts are like they are bounded to a unit but yeah in 70 years we can change the stuff anyway so yeah we will see um so with only exists in ragnarok world you will be able to craft item you yeah. okay so i guess i was wrong with maybe level 100 but yeah so it's going to be for the holy relics what the holy relics are doing oh here equipping them increases basic stats and grants special buffs oh special buffs interesting so maybe they are going to kind of replace arch angels um maybe not as strong as arch angels but yeah we will see so maybe they are going to bring a lot of effects like i don't know that we can crit more often with derriere and guild boss <laughs> um but yeah i mean maybe we can combine them with art angle um uh a uh, 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 grace so yeah let's see so knighthood competition operation direction so um it's on the diff uh, monthly basis so yeah this is this is what uh, i have always said so in the first months it's going to be for us in global and asia um two weeks and get good was so uh i think next week it's going to be like oh actually this week is going to be like kind of a break we get some new content we get margaret dropping tomorrow and um the week after so next week should be another ungeared um fight and then it's going to be the normal uh what it's called the normal schedule it's going to be push week get good wars and after Geared Guild Wars, it should be Ungeared Guild Wars, and then it starts with Push Week again. So yeah, um, I've read that around that like this, they are going to try to uh, somehow um, uh, make it that people can still do like for example Elite PvP. Uh, because they are Elite PvP season and doing Guild Wars and also uh, Ungeared and Geared. It's going to be a little bit annoying and maybe too much for some people here um this preliminary fight seasons overlap with so yeah they're going to try to take to make somehow happen that um when the fight festival season is on that but 
I don't know what they are going to plan to do, but yeah. Um, I would say here's nothing really interesting, but here the future content update plans. I think this is um, very interesting. So yeah. Uh, lastly, we would like to inform you about the current content update direction, which many knights are most curious about. So I'm personally also curious about, I was actually yesterday streaming on Twitch and I was talking about this. I was talking about this bullshit and I was just joking around. I I was just like, yo guys, level 100 is coming and SA5, uh, SA6 and fuck, why is it coming? Well, so let's continue first. Um. And okay, I don't think yeah, okay, they are going to try to improve Fortress Ogres and uh final boss, whatever. Um oh yeah, they are they are like um disappointed of themselves that in final boss is it this one already? No, okay, later. Okay, so uh so yeah, uh SA6 is coming, guys. Everyone is always asking me, yo, why is your gold for SA1? Now I kind of regret that he's SA5 now because SA6 is coming. I have no coins, I have no SSR coins. It's gonna be tough guys, it's gonna be really tough because uh, I think most of you guys know SA5 is already so hard to deal with if you actually are in good wars, like if you don't do good wars, it, it doesn't matter, you don't need that many SA units, you can just focus on your PvP units and you are ready, but yeah. So um, it's going to be released in late September or early October, that, that sounds really really bad, like that is that is way too early. Um. At least we're getting 100 SA coins, but... Uh, so we need right now... How many do we need? Two SA6? Don't we need uh, four, four SA and four plat coins? Which means we need 12 for one unit. So what is 100? Maybe we need the double amount of that. Maybe we need 18. So let's say we can SA5 five, five units. Very generous, Kappa. Okay, Knighthood Battle Improvements. First, we will be introducing a higher difficulty mode. So I guess a... We never had Hell. Who knows, maybe they are even going to add Legend as well. Um, improve scoring methods and rewards. I really hope they are going to change, for example, that you don't have to fucking do normal anymore. Imagine you are going to SA6 normal, or the units you are going to use in normal, you're going to touch you're just going to scratch a bit with Dariadi and he's dead. And the fucking Kalak is dead. So it would be really cool if they are going to just like, hey, do this hell difficulty. This is the score in Guild Boss you get. That would be the best improvement they can do. That Marble, if you're watching this, please do it like that. Don't make us to fucking play the whole week if it's push week in every difficulty and cheese out our units, bringing, messing up the gear, especially with all the importance of box CC, like for example for ungeared and for geared if you are going to tie. So yeah, um, training grotto improvements. So I am not really sure what they are going to, but yeah. So uh, next are improvements in the direction related to training grotto, which is the main source of resources used to strength, strengthen, my English is too bad guys, equipment. Um, Strengen? Strengen, right? I don't know. Um, I don't know which was right or probably both were wrong, right? The training grotto is a must-play game mode. Yes, I agree. Uh, but due to most various restrictions, many knights feel reluctant. I don't even know what the what this word is, but well, to play it. Um, probably maybe not that they don't want or they can't, whatever. Um, we are planning to improve accessibility, efficiency. So what you guys should really do is um skip tickets easy peasy skip tickets just make us friggin be able if you so skip ticket only if you were able to beat the stage in level three and then everyone will be happy so may, maybe even only skip ticket the the pre stages and the mirror stages we have to uh, do it on our own i'm fine with that but yeah even though i can auto that if you don't know that we can auto check out the video um it's still boring it's still something it's it's only because i need those drops you know um final boss improvement so here this was uh, what i was kind of re um, mentioning already earlier so um final boss battles were first intro uh, introduced as content that required strategy clear 
yes. I mean, un until today, it's still a strategy to, to, to at least get number one. Well, to clear it is way too easy, yes, especially with Barn and stuff. But as updates have continued, the strategies have become simplified and the store rewards standardized. So yeah, basically it's just, yo, anytime when there's a final boss drop, I try to make a how to get number one video, how to get top 10% in free to play back then it was top five percent and also a how, how to auto farm and i think the how to auto farm was always the freaking best video which because everyone was like oh damn you can fucking auto this okay i will check that out i will auto i will get all the rewards and it's more like a, something you have to do so um only for the tryhards it's fun i would say maybe not even that much fun because yeah with that reality it's super annoying but yeah um, they are going to try to change so more scenes are uh, no 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 wait here so accordingly the upcoming final boss Zeldris and Estarosa so we know already this final boss is going to come um, will be the last season before improvements are made so we are going to have uh, just a normal um, this and that what are, whatever I don't know how to explain that um, without the improvements and then afterwards uh, starting from the uh, next final boss it's gonna be even more interesting so i really hope i'm lo really looking forward for for that because i really like final boss um but final boss legend please net marvel fix the list hawk strategy it is just stupid it is just dumb i need the gems though and i'm dumb so it does fit to me um okay so yeah uh but the best would be like if you limit limit it like for example if you if you if you that you lose HP when you take more than 100 turns. Oh, big brain strategy. That way, at least the Lishawk strat will be not great anymore. Okay, um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, check out the video on our channel. We have a video how we actually have or can have 99,999,999 HP on a uh, Lishawk for the maximum HP title. Uh, I mean, being in the Hall of Fame is cool, but not really worth it well okay tower of trials rewards and qol changes qol <clears throat> the word people love okay okay after changing the tower of trials from seasonal content to tower type content which accumulating stages the ru uh, the rewards became limited and the monthly update volume has was reduced many knights have voiced concern that they see on purpose in playing the game mode um yeah I agree and also like uh, there's the HP mission some people still ha don't have the HP mission but they did the tower already so if they are not going to add another tower they can't get the mission anymore fix that please um the update volume of tower trials will remain the same so that l at least three floors can be provided regularly however in order to increase the motivation blah 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 uh, reset all stages oh oh they're going to oh then it's I, I will I, I guess I should make a video how to beat every stage then cool Initially, we plan to uh, rec current issue the UI blah 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 yeah I don't know exactly whatever um along with the content improvements we will also release new content we have planned for this year i mean oh yeah the faction war okay this is this is probably the most important or most interesting thing everyone is looking for okay let's see i haven't read that to be honest but i wanted to read it together here as first impression so we are currently planning on a co-op cooperative oh my god my english game mode faction war working title Oh, they are still thinking about the title or what is going on um based on the main battles of the original seven deadly sins ip interesting um you will be able to select one of the uh, one of two factions and clear battle content exclusive to those chosen factions the contribution points from the battles will be added to the faction score the faction will be more points will emerge victorious the more battles you win the more faction points you can contribute we are planning on providing exclusive rewards based on contribution points our current plan is to make faction war regular event type content 
Mm -hmm. This dev note has been about the game coming updates and yeah, um, I like it. I like the changes. That is that is a lot. That is really a lot. And usually stuff come like within one month. I really don't hope it comes in one month. So of course, all this love to lovely lovely, but. Ned Marble, please listen. This, please give us until end of this year. End of this year, and we will be ready for it. But not in fucking October, fucking early October. But yeah, um, those were the death notes. I will link. I will uh, have the link in the description below. And yeah, I really hope it was hmm, not really helpful. Whatever. Uh, because yeah, everyone can read that too, right? But people, I hope people like to hear other people's opinions as well. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed watching this, would be awesome if you're going to subscribe if you're new on this channel or in general if you're not subscribed yet. If you want to see more of such content, let me know in the comment section. In general, commenting is good for the algorithm. But yeah, um, I personally, I'm, I'm still enjoying the game fully. I love that there's going to be more content and yeah thanks for tuning in and peace out for now